Welcome viewers click the red button to subscribe and press bell icon to get all updates. After news broke recently that John McCain's McCain Institute for International Leadership is taking money from anti-American billionaire George Soros, the Institute's administrators are now refusing to disclose a list of its donors. Republican Senator John McCain has been a thorn in the side of conservatives for the better part of two decades and today he is the face of the anti-Trump resistance among establishment Republicans, so naturally, the media loves him. But, recently it was discovered that his organization is the lucky recipient of a large amount of donations from Soros, one of the most dangerous, anti-American leftists in the world and a long list of other foreign donors. An investigation by Daily Caller discovered that McCain's Legacy Foundation is stuffed full of source cash not to mention cash from a long list of American enemies. Daily Caller reminds readers that McCain was the big man behind the mccain Gold Act that aimed to reform campaign finance rules. And yet. Here is his bid deal institute refusing to tell the nation just who is donating to its causes. But the McCain Institute, created in 2012 with an $8.7 million donation of funds remaining from McCain's unsuccessful 2008 presidential campaign, refused Monday to disclose the amounts it received from its biggest donors who gave $100,000 or more. The Institute did note that it has a list of donors on its website. But DC also pointed out that the amount donated is not listed and not disclosed. However, the McCain Institute declined to spell out exactly how much money each big donor contributed. The website only lists donors who have given $100,000 and above, which can be misleading. The Royal Embassy of Saudi Arabia, for instance, is identified as giving $100,000 or more on the Institute's website. In reality, the Saudis gave $1 million. DC also disclosed that one of the reasons that McCain housed his institute at Arizona State University is just for the exact purpose of hiding donors. Indeed, many of McCain's donors are foreigners. Of the 37 donors who contributed $100,000 or more to the McCain Institute, one in three originate from either foreign principals, overseas corporations or foreign governments, according to the nonprofit's website. One big donor is anonymous. Not only is McCain's name on the masthead, he is also the honorary convener of the McCain Institute's signature spring annual meeting, the Sedona Forum. The Sedona Forum is a high-level, private gathering held at the luxurious Enchantment Resort in Sedona, Arizona now, with all these millions in foreign donations, doesn't this whole deal smack of the same lies and influence peddling the Clintons are guilty of with their own so-called foundation? Yet, here is McCain doing exactly the same thing. Why won't you disclose your foreign donors and their donations, Sen? McCain? 